Man Sunshine here, or Mr. Sunshine, whichever you prefer. I just don't care, just, you'll know me. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to Reseteer, an item shop's tale. I wanted to give a little uh, introduction to this game, uh, just to show people why the hell are you playing that. Uh, I've already beat this once, as you can see. Little funky bit, it does not use the mouse. So, uh, there's a... Uh, set up where you can set up the keys. I personally did uh, WASD for the directions. And then you, then it's got like a four button controller type setup. So I did JK and U and I above that. So anyway, I'll do a new game. Uh, I'm going to flip through the dialogue pretty darn quick because uh, I want to get to the action. <clears throat> okay. This is the traditional get up. We gotta start. This is Tear. And that's Reset. It has Japanese uh, voices. But they only say small phrases, so we never get that much. Alright, we're starting off with the item shop. And the name of the shop is Capitalism Ho. I don't know if that's the real one. A few matters. Is there anything to sell so we need to buy stuff? Need to get stock. Which basically goes is going over to other places and buying their stuff. Town market emergency guild, yeah. I spent a lot of time in those places buying stuff. That old guy. Oh, <laughs> Hi. And you just run around. You can look at these things if you actually have items, which you can't. And actually. Since uh, Tira's following me around, I can't talk to her yet. This is where we would sit for our items, and you can see people passing by. That'll come into play later. Go! Note up in the upper left, there's uh, a time gauge that goes from top to bottom. There's four times during the day. Uh, if you leave the store and then come back, that means you lose a, a section of time, which we're going to do now. Here's the guildmaster, blah blah blah. Lone shark. Which is what the fairies are. Blah 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 Alright, which means I need to be careful when I spend on stuff. You can see various categories to buy from. I'll go ahead and start with the sword. <sighs> do I want to do two? Two might be pushing. I'll stay with one. You can see the price at the bottom of the screen. And also how many you already have. Wow, those prices. So I can do a leather glove. That's much better. Okay, I'm down to 500. Do one of those. Do two of those. I don't need to worry about keeping money behind. Uh, we can do one more. All right. Uh, you can't talk to them. I never have. <laughs> and if you sell, that's bad because they give you like a third of the price. It's like not even worth it. <laughs> Ooh, walnut bread. That comes more into play for the, um, when you go dungeon crawling. I don't even know what Adam Smith is. Alright, next move. Items on display. The, uh, spots near the window gain people's attention, so if there's stuff that's hot right now, or popular, you want to put it there. You always want stuff in those front windows to attract people in. Hi. 
I don't know if it's better or worse to uh, put the expensive stuff in the window. Oh, this is where she tells you how important it is to put them in the front window. And strangely, I'm going to put the bread. Love. It gets really annoying when she goes, uh, over and over again. I also try not to put the same thing in the same display case. I don't know if it actually has an effect. Just me being Okay, not that. Yes. Oh, is that everything we got? Alright, that's all we got. <sighs> I should theoretically skip this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this in the interest of time. Because I can explain as I go. Oh, I don't have a choice? Okay, cancel tutorial. Yes, please. Now what? <laughs> and here we go. First customer. She wants to buy bread. Uh, when... Let's see. Under normal circumstances for customers, you can usually get away with charging... Oops. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, you can normally get away with charging customers 115 to 130% of the price. I hate to say it, but women in this game are really picky about price. So, I'm gonna try 120. I don't think she's gonna go for it. Oh, she did. <laughs> if they don't like it, they'll say, could you make it lower... Etc. Etc. Okay, you made your f first sale. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, can not let Yeah, let's skip that. Oh, really? Skip that too. Come on, really? <laughs> it's a flashback kind of thing. Good for the story, no good for trying to demo the game. Why did I get through messages? Anyway. Okay. So let's see. Oh, we're on day two already, some, for some reason. I've got almost no money, so there's no point going out. So let's go ahead. This is where you can see my level, merchant level, in the bottom uh, left side of the screen that goes up with each sale I have. What's a wooden armband? Since he's a male, I can get away with a little bit more than normal. Cool. And yeah, the uh, primary action key is used for pretty much everything here, and then the secondary action key is used for canceling. <sighs> These girls are terrible to try and price. See? Well, they're 115. That should pass. <laughs> you can see I'm getting both gold at the top left and then uh, experience at the bottom left. And that's it for that. Okay. Oh, now I can talk to Tira. What is it? And get all your stuff there. Uh, 444, I mean, it's nice, but I don't want to leave the store because that'll take a piece of time. Ah, yes, then there's the calendar. So, today's the second day of the month, and you can see a circle on the eighth day of the month with payment due. Every week on that day, there's a payment due. All the way down the character. There's five of them. First one's 10,000, I think the second one's 50. I think then it's 100, 200, and finally 500,000. Uh, this is where I use multiple saves, as you can see here. Uh, I only use three, there's actually a lot. Okay, <laughs> so plenty of ways to back yourself up, etc. Uh, like back up like three or seven days, I think would be best, but that's a wild guess. Um. If you're into completing everything, you got your encyclopedia here, so I, I haven't used it. Here's your actual stock, which is empty since it's all on display. That's a, that's a key point to remember is if it's on display, it's not counted in your stock. 
And all your freaking stuff here on red text skip. That's a traditional thing in Japanese games where you go really fast through text you've already seen, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Alright, let's uh, go for some more Later in the game, you are able to take or uh, buy stuff from other people. <laughs> you are able to buy stuff. You need to pay attention to what they say. Like, I want to buy this or I want to sell this because you might end up doing the wrong thing for the wrong item. I.e. giving a really good price to someone who's selling or giving a bad price to someone who's... Or a very cheap price to someone who's buying. Which you don't want to do. I've done that more than once, so look. Ah, this'll do. So he's actually buying it. Which I'm only selling stuff right now, but anyway. Oh, I can do 25, I think. Ah, crap. Old man, particularly. Okay. Later, when stuff is hot, uh, it says uh, the price of something has increased. You can charge them all the way up to, I've gotten as high as 280% plus. That is like, that's the bread and butter of this game to get money. Is when something is hot, you get a lot of it, you stock it, and you sell it like really hunkin' high. Uh, there's a couple of characters later in the game that are really difficult to sell to. Uh, the money is just like not there. They just refuse to pay that much, so I don't even give them a second thought because there's plenty of other people to sell to. I may or may not clip this somewhere so that I can jump forward a bit. Okay, um, the stock's getting kind of low. This is where the repeated drops are. I don't want to leave the store, but I guess I'm going to have some food stuff while I'm here. Okay, I got necklaces, medicines, food, books, treasures. <laughs> May as well grab one of those. Rings, which comes out later. Shoes, which are expensive as hell. Old armor's worth something. Cloth cape is freaking expensive. That's freaking expensive. And here's the walnut bread. That becomes important for dungeons. Same with candy, although that's very expensive. So are those. Well, I can sell them, so that works. Alright, I'm gonna leave. It's gonna take a, out some time here. There's candy up there. Alright. Also, later in the game, you can expand your store. You can you can move stuff around, that kind of thing. That comes with levels. Probably get stuck in here pretty soon. There's also a dungeon crawling in where you gotta enlist uh, adventurers to go uh, fight stuff in dungeons. You get free items that way. Uh, the combat's very simplistic, um, but that's the point. It's about an item shop. There's another game by these guys. It's more around the fighting, but that's another story. Uh, two, oh, no. There we go. Ha! <laughs> 130? No. 130? No. 25, I think, will go. Yeah. If I'm lucky, the uh, adventure will come the next day, and then we can sh I can show you that. Sorry, I oh, I went level up. That means stuff. buying stuff from customers. Here's a daily summary. Exceeded expectations. That's interesting. Not that that the rating is just just there. It doesn't really do anything for you. Here comes another tutorial, I think. Oh, this is where she says, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to pay it, like, in payments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now she's going to talk about the level. There you go. All right, skip the tutorial. 
Okay, nothing yet as far as that goes. Yeah, awesome stuff. I would do that, but you know, I don't know what the chapel's for. I don't know what the town square is for either, honestly. I'm gonna go look here, even though nothing's gonna happen, because you need a card from an adventurer to use them. Oh wait, this triggers the event. Oh, I forgot. You have to go here. Then you meet this newbie that doesn't have their accreditation, and so you strike a deal with them to, hey, I'll go with you if you give me your card, etc. <laughs> Dinner party. So this me. There we go, that guy over there. <laughs> My fault for not realizing, oh yeah, <laughs> going there actually triggers the event. skip the rest of this. Uh, okay, what do I have? Oops, bad move. Okay, I'm gonna buy some stuff for the guy. Oh, that's expensive. Let's see, a leather glove. Will he even have one? Maybe I'll be able to see it, hang on. There we go. Horn sword, leather armor, wooden shield, old muffler. Swordsman Louis. Okay. Oh, ouch. Leather armor, right now. Alright, I'm gonna spoil it and go on the uh, long sword. That'll work. Oh, wait. Uh, do I have food? <sighs> I don't know if it's going to count the stuff I have in the store. Oh, well. Let's go with this. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. Alright. Whoops. Long sword. Okay. Do I have anything else? I do not. Depart! <laughs> this is a little foolhardy, but oh well. Now it's going to explain about how these work. Aren't we just going to hold Louie back? Two of us are perfectly safe. There's a protective field around the two of us. So They're basically invisible. Yeah, Louie's definitely not. <laughs> so, in other words, not are they safe, they can't touch anything. That's what Louie's for. So yeah, if he gets injured, i.e. dead, we put him in the field where he retreat. However, we can only take one item back with us, so if we brought in more than that, we can't take everything back out. And yeah, there's a limited inventory, but that's like 20, 24 <laughs> items, something like that. Yes, exactly. So now he's got his sword. Uh, let's see here. Status. Yep, all that stuff. Items. Items says how many we've got in the bag. The worn sword is his, so he keeps that. Um, down at the bottom left, you see his hit points and skill points. This is how the combat works. You just can swing at him. That's like XP right there. Uh, that little icon between the two bars, the girl with the swing around, that indicates yeah. his special skill that is currently in use. There are other skills you can use here. Uh, I think it's that key. Nope. Okay, that's his skill right there. That was the secondary button. And uh, you can gain skill points back by eating stuff like candy. And you gain health by fighting stuff like walnut bread. And this is a teleport to the next level of the dungeon. But there are at least two treasure chests per level. 
So let's go find this. Let's see what's up in the lower right. Ingredient. I have never seen what those are. <laughs> Yay. And when to the level up, you gain everything. You gain all your hit points and skill points back. So those red triangles are enemies, which means I'm going to see one right there. And there's a treasure chest. One thing to note, however, some of them are trapped, and some areas are trapped as well, if you walk through the center. So. That was a trap. I missed. The enemies have their own attack patterns, so you can use those to your advantage. Whoa. That is a slime one. It's only good, as far as I know, for selling for people who want it, which is weird. Or in one particular quest where you have to get three items and one of them is a slime liver. Alright, cool. And there's one more chest down here. Yeah. Hey, bow and arrow. See, that's how you get items for free. So you can just sell those. Now, oh, well, there's another area over here, but unlikely to have a chest. There we go. Sometimes you'll set a trap off and you'll see rocks come down from above. You just have to react and not get hit by them. Generally, I think if you don't go through the center of an area, you're fine. Go to the next floor, yes. There are five floors in... You have to go five floors until you get to an exit to the dungeon, so... Back attack. Hey, a pop holder. I'll stand. Mystery ingredient. I'm gonna try some different stuff here. Different mic stuff. Yeah. Slime, slime, and more slime. The dungeon arranges is, is random each time and is different based on the level of the character. Okay, yeah, that's how you use the specials. Do I have a treasure chest up there too? I did. So I'm gonna call this one done and go to the next level already. Just so we can see that end boss. I'm probably gonna edit this recording. How would that for you know it's too long. For a preview. I flip through these things. Uh, oh, nope, skip ahead, skip ahead. This looks boring. Oh, this looks interesting, etc. Maybe I'll do like like uh, chapter markers. Ow, yeah, that guy punches, so you want to like, lure him into it, and then... Definitely not what I'm doing. <laughs> there, okay. there, I got my hit points back. That's good. And... Not a trap. Ooh, a longsword. That's nice. Yeah, the whole point of this is to introduce somebody to what I'm playing, so yeah. I'm not going to be too worried about the... about introducing absolutely everything. I like the Japanese voices, you know, I've got, you know, since I'm male, I like the female voices. But there is some repetition that happens, and of course, I can't understand that. It's a trap. Alright, next floor. Jump to the floor. Oh, we blocked yeah. it. Nice. There we go. I want to save the rest of the. Oh, crap, I don't have much skill points left. Because there's going to be a boss up there. There may not be. That does hurt the enemies as well. <laughs> this is where not walking through the middle is a better idea, which I did not do. Let's see if this. Okay, 
okay, no trap there. And I went totally the wrong way. But I'm gaining experience as I go, so that'll refill my skill points. Good stuff. As far as I know, you can't get out of a dungeon unless you get to every fifth level. So if you're low on health, you're screwed. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I don't think there's a boss here. I'm gonna skip what they're about to say because I've already killed you. So get the treasure. Oh yeah, you get, he gets a card. And then he gives the card to reset, etc., etc. And here's the way out. And this is everything we got. And we can get details if we want, but I don't. Rearrange? Yeah. Okay, secondary button. And you'll notice we're out of time. Why is it loading? Okay, whatever. Oh, no, I actually get to sell stuff. Alright. Let's go with that. May as well. Also, yeah, that's pretty expensive. I'll go with that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because I'm pretty much done. Look at all that slime hey. fluid. I doubt that's gonna sell. But Let's finish off the day. Notice the adventurer comes by buying stuff. And I'm charging him just as much as anyone else. Yep, that was pretty darn good. Okay, normally, um, later in the game, you get news flashes about things where uh, prices have increased or decreased, and you'll learn how to deal with those. But uh, just a, on the items that have decreased, you don't want to touch them, basically, unless people are selling them to you, and then you can buy them back at like. 25% the price, so. Anyway, that's uh, Reset uh, Item Shop Sale. Hopefully uh, I gave a good introduction and, uh, and all that good stuff. See you later.